right guys so we're at lone star antiques here in um where are we at Wataga. i don't know Wataga, texas but anyway i'm with uh boston mice no no stay back i look better when you stay back yeah how about from the, oh is that I'm better, fine. Is I'm that like better? that's better right uh, angus still loves me <laughs> yep so anyway, we're gonna go check it out in here. It's been a minute since I've been here, but they usually have some pretty good toys. So let's go check it out. All right, it looks like we got some mighty ducks. We got a uh, Batman, some Mochu. Over here. Under it. Karate. Here's some Joes and some vintage goodies. Legions of Power. Ooh, so there's some Thundercats right there. And there's a knockoff. Ooh. Very nice. Pistol. All right, got some more figures in this case right here. Bunch of uh, minifigs, loyal subjects. Right there. Right there. Lots of stuff in here. And then down here we got some comics. Got Turtles number one. That's pretty good and sweet. And then pops. More comics. Transformers, it's pretty sweet. Down here, we got a Destro. Oh, something at the Bond car. Oh, yeah. Here's some Transformers. Cool scene, remember them? Yeah, I remember those. Hardest video game I ever had to play. Alright, our next booth over here. Like We've got a Select Hulk, which is one of the best Hulks figures around in my opinion there's a bunch of toy biz goodness right here it's pretty sweet here we go here's some star wars Let's see what we got announcing it either wrong star wars star wars i'm from boston star wars <laughs> here's some vintage stuff over here Just... rambo Thundercats, Sectars. How much are these Sectars going for? Is that 10? 18? This mask right there. And here's some Toidles. Ooh, I don't have the prehistoric Leo. That might, I might have to get him. Don't have him. There's a Mauser. Definitely pick him up. And the original turtles over here. Well, two of them at least. Got that TIE fighter. Ghostbusters meter. Here's some of the 12 inch Star Wars. There's a bunch of them down here. Yeah, that's a 16 year old maybe. Cool. Got on, on time time. Here's another one. On, on All right, we are at another booth. Oh, so here's an Iron Man DB. Like I said, I'm trying to pick up five ninety five. I mean, it's still a good price, but I'm thinking like three dollars. That's what I'm thinking. Batman Returns. Batman. So, right? I like that. I loved him when I was younger. The Mew. Mario and the Mew. There's some NSYNC figures. Italian. He's I've always Italian. loved this set. Yeah. Pretty sweet. Water World. I break for yard sales. <laughs> There's a Steve Young. Two Steve Youngs. Okay. I want one of these. 
What is that? Just a mixer? Um, milkshake. The guy that made this one. Mm -hmm. He's the guy that bought um, McDonald's. Oh, oh, Sign of oh uh, Kevin Costner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here's an old. I did uh, that before the movie. Dude. Right? No, I mean, no. No, the guy that designed that or worked for that company bought um, McDonald's. Okay. Or all right, so thumbing through some records, and I found this John Denver and the Muppets record. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna have to pick that for two doll hairs. That's pretty freaking sweet. All right, guys, welcome to the haul portion of this video. And I did some research on that Leonardo turtle that I found. Actually, I asked my good friend Chris, who is kind of kind of like my go-to turtle expert. I picked this guy up, not really knowing who he was, but this is a pretty freaking rare figure out. I, I came to find out this is the uh, Warrior line, one of the last lines to come out in the Vintage line for TMNT. So Vintage style warrior, Sewer Warriors, or Warriors of the Sewer Leonardo. So I got him for $8, and this guy, um, loose. He goes between $30 and $40, so it's freaking crazy. You know, when you see turtles, guys, even though they may look goofy or whatever, and uh, of course, if you collect them first, but pick them up because you never know. So, case in point, right here, got him eight dollars, and then I got the John Denver and the Muppets Christmas album. I had to get it, and it was two dollars, so I picked that up as well. And some off screen uh, pickups I got, I finally got the Marvel Legends Ronin figure, which is pretty sweet. I like him. I really like uh, his other sword in the back. And then he has his little throwing hand as well. And then I finally got this bad boy. Got good old Beast. And I uh, can't wait to pose him with my uh, X-Men over there. Kind of see that. So I got Beast. And then I got the Godzilla the NECA Godzilla, King of the Monsters, right there. And the movie comes out tonight. I'm gonna, I might go see it tonight. I don't know, maybe tomorrow for sure, but I cannot wait for that freaking movie. But I got King of the Monsters himself, Mr. Godzilla. Anyway guys, that is my haul. Thank you for watching and um, next hunt, I'm not too sure. I'm not sure what we're going to do on our next hunt. I do have some mail coming through, so stay tuned for that. And guys, thanks for watching. Peace.